Hello, good morning. Today we are going to look on to integration by trigonometric substitution. This is the area where most students find more difficult. These are the special cases where the use of trigonometric substitution is necessary. Now let us look on to the first problem. Suppose we are asked to integrate the square root of 4 minus x squared with respect to x. This 4 can be transformed to an index form which is 2 to the power of 2. Therefore we use 2 as a. Let x equal to 2 sine theta. The derivative of x with respect to theta, we have dx equals to 2 cos theta d theta. We are going to substitute this into the main integration and this becomes the square root of 4 minus x. We have let x to be equal to 2 sine theta. So we have 2 sine theta squared but dx is now equal to 2 cos theta d theta 2 cos theta d theta if we expand this bracket we are going to obtain 4 sine squared theta from here we have the integral of the square root of 4 minus 4 because 2 squared is 4 then sine squared theta then times 2 cos theta d theta 2 cos theta d theta again we can factorize 4 because we have 4 in common in between the two terms so this becomes Again, from trigonometric identity, if you can remember sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is equal to 1. Therefore, cos squared theta will be equal to 1 minus sine squared theta. But we have 1 minus sine squared theta here, which we can now replace with cos squared theta. But the square root of 4 is 2. We have the integral of 2. In the square root of cos square theta times 2 cos theta d theta square root of cos square theta is just cos theta so we have this 2 cos theta times 2 cos theta d theta 2 cos theta times 2 cos theta is 4 cos squared theta. We can factorize 4 outside. Cos squared theta d theta. But how can we integrate cos squared theta? Remember the cosine of double angle cos 2 theta is equal to cos squared theta minus sine squared theta if we write this in term of cos we have cos squared theta minus you know this is going to be 1 minus cos squared theta if you expand this bracket you are going to obtain 2 cos squared theta minus 1 and this is cos 2 theta. If you bring 1 to the left hand side, it becomes cos 2 theta plus 1 equals to 2 cos squared theta. If you divide both sides by 2, you're going to obtain, you're going to obtain cos squared theta equals to cos 2 theta plus 1 divided by 2. So now we are going to replace cos squared theta with cos 2 theta plus 1 divided by 2. So this is equal to 4. The integral of 
cos 2 theta plus 1 divided by 2 d theta. Now we can factorize 1 over 2 outside. If you factorize 1 over 2, we're going to obtain 4 over 2, the integral of cos 2 theta plus 1 d theta. 4 divided by 2 is 2. If you integrate this two times independently, the first one is going to be sine 2 theta divided by 2 plus theta. If you differentiate 1 with respect to theta, you're going to obtain theta plus c, the constant of integration. If you expand this bracket, you're going to obtain this times this, this will cancel this. So we have sine 2 theta plus 2 theta plus c. Again, from a uh, sine of double angle, this can be written as 2 sine theta cos theta plus 2 theta plus c. But initially, if you can remember, we have let we have let x to be equal to 2 sine theta. So we can replace this with x. But we don't know what is cos theta, so we need to find out. If 2 sine theta is equal to x, sine theta, if you divide both sides by 2, you're going to obtain x divided by 2. From a right angle triangle, we can find cos theta. But sine theta can be obtained by taking the ratios of opposite and hypotenuse. This is opposite while this is hypotenuse. Using Pythagoras theorem, we know that hypotenuse squared is equal to opposite squared plus the adjacent squared. So hypotenuse squared is equal to opposite squared plus adjacent squared. 2 squared is 4. If you bring x squared to the left hand side, it becomes x minus x squared and to the right hand side we have adjacent squared but taking the square root of both sides will eliminate this square so this is our adjacent 4 minus x squared the square root of 4 minus x squared therefore cos theta is equal to adjacent divided by hypotenuse and this is our adjacent Divide by hypotenuse. Again, if sine theta is equal to x divided by 2, theta will be equal to sine inverse of x divided by 2. Now we can substitute all this back into this solution. Um, we can see that 2 sine theta is x. So we have x. Cos theta is this square root of 4 minus x squared divided by 2 then plus 2 times theta but we have seen that theta is equal to sine inverse of x divided by 2 plus the constant of integration so this is the solution to the problem So if you like this video, kindly give me a thumb up, share to your learning colleagues, subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload any content.